So what have you seen in your community? What has happened in Fowler since those October 7 attacks? Deeper division, sharper words? Can I say to you, I love my community because of the fact that there is no division. I think um, it, there, there has been a very much understanding because they're all, many of them are refugees and migrants. So they have been watching, obviously, their fears. I mean, especially, I mean, in my community, there is a, a larger proportion of those um, who are uh, of the Muslim faith um, and there's fear. But I also understand uh, friends and colleagues uh, in, in, you know, in places where high population of people of the Jewish faith who are also been impacted. So both faiths have been impacted in all of this uh, uh, discussion, international discussion that we're having and seeing at the moment. There is a city call uh, train of thought here that the speech uh, that was given by Penny Wong was in part because it was prompted by um, perhaps voters in Western Sydney of the Muslim faith um, losing faith in Labor. Have you seen anything that might suggest that to, to suggest that there might be you know, a, a mass exodus of traditional Labor voters looking elsewhere, perhaps to independents like yourself? Uh, Laura, I was actually at the National Security Dinner because uh, I was down there for the conference and I was there the night of the dinner that um, the senator gave her a speech. And I have to say, she started her speech, obviously, around national security. But when it came to the part about the guys uh, Israeli uh, conflict, she actually condemned, I mean, <laughs> you know, like con mm. condemned Hamas uh, with, no, with no uncertain terms uh, in terms of, you know, the, that you cannot see um, what happened on October 7 and ignore it. So for those um, that feel that, oh, you know, she didn't speak enough and for those pro-Palestinians, they have to understand mm. that she made a very strong, you know, made a very, no, no, no uncertain terms that she condemned it. Um, however, she also said that, you know, you can have the right to defend, and I think we've said all this, Israel, Israel can have the right to defend, but have to do it um, in an, you know, according to the rules of, of war. Now, for me, you know, when you go to war, you, you kill innocent lives. And there's, there, there are no rules of law from my perspective because people would just go there with the guns and shoot and bomb and everything. However, um, it, there, there, I'm aware as well of a, a couple of websites coming up saying that, the, you know, Muslim votes, of course, there'll be those that'll be doing all of that and saying who voted for um, supporting, uh, who's more pro-Palestinian, who's less. Mm. I mean, I'm on that list. Look. I do what's best interest of my community and represent my diverse community. I'm not going to be pushed into saying things that I believe will incite more division in our multicultural society. I will stand for cohesion and for peace, especially here in Fowler. And I love my community and I know my community elected me to represent, to, to represent their voices. And we need to address other issues such as, from my perspective, the cost of living that's really hurting yeah. my community, uh, that is priority for me. And the health of my community, all of those things. But having, um, you know, a, a vote for Muslim, identifying all these MPs who are doing, yeah. you know, less so or, or more. So are you saying there are, there are websites, uh, quite sophisticated ones, dedicated to telling people of the Muslim faith within that community who is more pro-Palestinian? So this is, yeah. seems so to be quite a, an organised... So, so there's quite a few, but like I said, you know, th these people, mm. they... And do you think that will have it, an effect once the election rolls around? Look, you know what, m my, the, the community, the Muslim community in my electorate Fowler are wonderful, law-abiding, law um, you know, community. We have iftar dinners for the last few weeks. I share those iftar dinners with them, and they are also suffering. And they, they tell me that they're suffering because they don't know the faith of their family members in Palestine, those who've got family members there. But those who feel that they have actually been attacked, um, you know, because of what Hamas did, suddenly this is paint, the, the brush has been painted on them as pro-Hamas. Pro but they, they do not want, you know, uh, uh, what Hamas is doing. They don't want that either. So it's a complex uh, situation. 
and that we uh, as leaders and, and the media, we, we need to see, be mindful of the sensitivity of how currently we are, many people are suffering financially, economically. Mm. So when they're not feeling secure financially, when they have feel that they've been, you know, disconnected from, from, you know, decision-making, any small external factor can drive anger. Mm. So they're not, you know, it's, so the, we have to be so careful. The current economic situation in our community, and I'm sure in mother in many other Western Sydney communities across Australia that are suffering in terms of the cost of living, you put anything to them, you 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 incite, um, uh, you know, fear. The the real fear is around survival, putting food on the table, mm. the economic you know challenge that we're all facing, but then having something else is to detract the attention away from the real fear of trying to provide for their families, trying to create a safe home for their families, trying to bring them their children up in a safe society. So that's what we want as refugees, as migrants who've come to call Australia home. We just want peace because that's the reason why we come to, came to Australia. We, we left those war-torn conflict for that reason. We want to make Australia home and we want to protect Australia from having any of those external factors coming in here. And I think and I plead to the media to just consider that because we do not want to create, bring external factors into yeah. this wonderful community that we have created. Hearing you. Thanks, Dai Lee. Always good to talk to you. Thanks, Laura.